We are well into 2017 and we think it's time for an updated SSD's buyer's guide. What's new? What's fast? What's trending? Let's find out. Yes, dear viewers, it is that time of year again where we take you through the trials and tribulations of buying a new SSD. I mean, not really. I'm making it sound more ominous than it really is. What is trending now? Well, let me tell you about NVMe SSDs. What is NVMe? It's a new interface that's short for Non-Volatile Memory Express. It can also be referred to as Non-Volatile Memory Host Controller Interface, but NVMe just sounds cooler than NVMHCI. And I just realized that NVMe can also be pronounced NVMe. Because anyone who doesn't have an NVMe SSD should be envious. Anyways, I'm off track. Now you might remember that we kind of covered NVMe SSDs before, but this time we're focused on the M.2 modules. Now why should you care about NVMe SSDs? Why not stick with a regular SSD? Well, regular SSDs are still good. In fact, they changed the game entirely when they first hit the mainstream back in 2007. But SSDs were designed with AHCI, an interface protocol that was designed around media like spinning disks. So when SSD technology advanced quickly, AHCI became inefficient. SSDs were actually maxing out the SATA 3 standards of 6 gigabits per second. So a need for a new alternative was needed. That's where NVMe comes in. Instead of being developed on an interface made for spinning disks, NVMe is developed around the needs of flash memory. So the NVMHCI protocol was combined with a PCIe interface and bang! NVMe. To install an NVMe drive is quite simple. It's like installing RAM. Just slide the module in the M.2 slot at an angle and then screw it in. The best part about NVMe SSDs now is that they're finally more mainstream. There's actually a lot more choice now in terms of different brands, not just Intel or Samsung, like WD and ADATA. Some are good bang for buck like Intel 600P series, and some are performance beasts like Samsung's 960 Pro lineup, which we actually don't have here. But no matter what NVMe SSD you go with, know that NVMe has significant improvements in speed. Here are some of our picks for NVMe SSDs that you should check out. First up is Samsung's 960 EVO M.2. Think of it as the little brother of the 960 Pro who almost performs as good as its bigger brother, but is more wallet friendly. This version we have here is the one terabyte version that has a peak performance of 3,200 megabytes per second reads and 1,900 megabytes per second writes. The 960 EVO also comes in 250 and 500 gig capacities with three year warranties. Here we have the ADATA XPG SX8000 series. The SX8000 series comes in 128, 256, 512 gig and one terabyte options. The 256 gig that we have here today has sequential read speeds of 2000 megabytes per second and sequential write speeds of 600 megabytes per second. The XPG SX8000 comes with a five year warranty. Next is the Intel 600P. Like we mentioned earlier, it's definitely the best bang for buck. It comes in capacities of 128, 256, 512 gig, and one terabyte. The Intel 600P is a great option as a primary drive for any gaming PC. This 256 gig model has sequential reads of 1,570 megabytes per second and sequential writes of 540 megabytes per second. It sports a five year warranty and in the case of the 256 gig model, it works out to be roughly 1.8 gigs per dollar. Finally, Western Digital's Black SSD. Some of you might know that the black designation for WD drives means performance and in this case, it's also WD's first NVMe PCIe SSD. It comes in capacities of 256 gig and 512 gig. Performance for the 256 gig version has sequential reads of 2050 megabytes per second and sequential writes of 700 megabytes per second. So if you want a little extra oomph for a few more dollars over the Intel and ADATA options, this is your boy right here. And it also comes with a five year warranty. Now you need to keep in mind that these SSDs all have M.2 form factor, or what I like to say is that they're gumstick sized. So you will need an M.2 slot. 
Luckily, many new laptops and most modern motherboards have M.2 slots built in. Please make sure that your device is compatible before diving headfirst into the wonderful world of NVMe. That about wraps it up for this 2017 Buyer's Guide for SSDs NVMe Edition. Links for all the products featured here today will be linked down below. But thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter over there. And subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. See you later. See you later. See you later.